Today we're out here testing the MVK1 to make sure that the new chain tensioner actually works as well as a few other things that we want to see before we finish our first production run of the MVK1. Because we have the battery box broke. So, because I 3D printed it, and uh, as you can see, it broke off here and here. As soon as we started taking it for a ride, it just, it's 3D. It's not going to be. 3D is great for the boardroom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, the game plan is we've tested it on the road, and it seems solid, but I really want to see what it's like on gravel and off-road with some bumps and stuff. I want to see how well the shock works, so I'm probably going to strap a GoPro to the back here of the frame just to see how much movement there is. Because I think 2,000 pounds at first seemed like a lot, but I think it's good. And I want to make sure that the clamping mechanism of these handlebars is solid because the worst fear I have is that if it comes loose and it rotates, that's not really good, that's not safe. Um, but if they don't move, like right now, they're tight. Like they're not going to move, but again, we're going to test because if we have to make something to keep these handlebars together, we'll have to do that. When we were at the Pull Start picnic, if you look down here, we didn't have this foot peg extender. The peg itself was bolted onto here, but with a big block, as you can see, it's hard to put your foot on the peg, especially on this side here because you had the clutch cover, so like you could barely get your heel on it, which isn't good. So we came up with this really cool idea. This was Tom's innovation where we have this bracket that extends it forward. And then there's actually three spots, one, two, and three that you can mount it. So if you want it more forward or backwards, you could do that. Um, and so I'm gonna test this out. I might even take it out and move it forward one, because I think for me being six foot tall, I, I think I want it even further forward, which is very much like a cruiser feel. And then the cool thing about these brackets though, is that if you wanna put them on the back, all you have to do is take the left one, you flip it, and you put it on the right side and then you take the right one, flip it, put it on the left side. And then if you want to have your foot pegs at the back, you can have them. And the nice thing is that you can extend them further back if you want. The last thing that we're going to be testing is a chain tensioner. So while we were at the picnic, I didn't expect to take it for a ride, but we did. And the chain fell off a few times. Um, but we know a chain tensioner is what we need to fix it. So we have one in there now. So this is our like real prototype tensioner. We have this bracket here that won't be on the final product. And in fact, this is probably gonna be made out of aluminum. But the idea is we just wanted to see how much tension do we need to put on this chain. So this gives us the ability to really figure out what angle we wanna have the tensioner at. And then, so that's kind of what we've developed there. And so now there's plenty of tension on the chain. And then as the swing arm moves up and down, we should be good to go. So yeah, those are all the things that we're gonna be testing today. And uh, so yeah, let's get it going and take it for a ride. We need a fuel gauge, don't this shouldn't we? This is a big we? tank, man. Yeah. Holy mackerel. What's going on? This came loose. Oh, sh That's the problem. Oh, because that, that was moving? That's supposed to be over here. Oh, Dad. Why is it so loose? Well, it looks like the, the throttle cable has moved from its original spot. I see it's all nice and loose here, so it's possible that it was not tightened when it was finished. Yeah, that's what's happened exactly. That's why we're not even getting full throttle. That's not good. No, originally I put it together, so it's possible I didn't tighten it up enough. And then with everybody riding, it uh, just brought the cable and I just noticed it now. So this bike can go a lot faster. Yesterday we did a little test at home and I posted a video. We got it up to 53 kilometers an hour, but that totally makes sense. If that, we weren't actually getting full throttle, that makes sense why it wasn't going as fast as we thought it would. Yeah, the bike should go a lot faster now. Okay, helmet check. Yeah. I probably should have brought sunglasses, but I'm not gonna go too fast. I got the gloves, just why not? These were my dad's from back in the Honda Ruckus days. Yeah. Good? Should have saw that puff of black smoke. Yeah, it's gas. That's that big jet in there. That's the what? The jet. Ah. Okay.
I got a puppy. Hi. I thought I was gonna fly into the drone, so I'm like, I gotta put the brake on, and then the back end just slipped out, but like. <laughs> well, we made it, and that's why you wear a helmet. Luckily, nothing happened, but man, this is so much fun to ride. Woo! Okay. Okay, well, I'm glad we had this because we almost had a spill there. So while we we're flying the drone, it kind of went to my left. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna speed up. And then it came back into the middle. And so I slammed on the brake and then it kind of fishtailed. Yeah, no, that was really good. I, um, I'm very happy on the suspension because on that gravel road, there are some bumps and stuff. Now, I wouldn't recommend street tires for gravel, but most people aren't riding on gravel. So this isn't like a street test, but it was, that was fun. That was really good. I like that. I uh, I want to just keep riding. What did it look like from your perspective? Look good. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Did um, could you see like the suspension working? Yeah, when you it? were going by, yeah, you could see it moving around even along here. One of the things that we still need to do is like start working on the actual engine. Um, it is bare bones stock right now. We put in a new jet when we got the exhaust and the air filter and stuff, but it might not actually be the right jet for this engine. So we might have to put it back the original. And there's a couple of things we need to do just to, you know, modify it a bit, take out the governor. Um, but yeah, overall though, this is fun to ride. I want to keep going. Well, let's do a couple more tests. Maybe let's go into the forest yeah. and see. I mean, they're, again, these are not off-road tires that we have on the bike. And so I don't know how well it's going to do. Even on there, like I said, I fishtailed a little bit. Nothing, uh, to be honest, it felt like it was huge, but on camera, it's probably just like, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> so it probably wasn't too big. Um, we, we can get off-road tires, can't we? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, from yeah, Go yeah. Power Sports. So we might, we might have to pick up a set of yeah, off-road tires. Give them a call and, and then uh, kind of go from there. But yeah, let's, let's try to go in there and okay. then uh, see what happens. And then we'll kind of tell Tom our findings. Yeah. And, uh, and then we'll be able to move on to production. I think everything's good or everything's good, man. Yeah. Well, the back I brake works really good. Yeah, it worked really good. Um, chain, the tensioner is working. Yeah. So the foot pegs feel nice and comfortable. I do wish, um, maybe I should grab a wrench real quick and move it forward just to kind of, I want to see what that feels like. Yeah. So maybe we'll do that real quick. So. Okay. This thing will look nice chrome. Yeah, chromed. So this is what the bracket looks like here. And what's really nice about it is it's made out of one piece. And then there's the three spots to put for how far forward you want it. And then one of the things we're like, okay, but if we just bolt it on, what will stop it from rotating? And so we created this little like curve with a bend and then this hugs underneath the frame, which is really nice. And so it shouldn't like mess up your paint or anything like that. But yeah, I'm gonna try on the widest setting now. So you can basically put it here, here, or here. So you got a lot of travel there, which is really nice. So I'm gonna try the furthest one because I'm six foot tall. And so I just wanna see how that feels. So let's see. Yeah, like that feels better, but I know I don't know how far the, the cover, the clutch cover would be, but that already feels better than, than that one for me specifically. So although I'm not using the right tires, you can still see that this works off-road. It's actually quite comfortable.
Oh my gosh. Beautiful, eh? I wish I had some off-road tires, because in there, like, I would just keep going and going, but... Oh, I think... I mean, that was good, though. Yeah. Oh. Okay, guys, this is officially the end of our testing. The chain never came off. That was one of the most important things. And then, realistically, the foot pegs, I think, are really, really comfortable. We're just going to extend them a bit and make them thicker, but I don't think we need to make them go any further forward. No. So I'm happy with that. And ultimately, I think we're ready to finally go. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So hit that like button. And uh, if you haven't yet, in the description, you can go ahead and register for the public sale, which we'll be doing very soon. So you could join the wait list. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know what you want to see next in the comments below. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>